Welcome back family and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing some empties with you. So stick around. And I'm sharing some wine with myself because that's just kind of, that's the kind of night that it is or the kind of day that it is. Well, it's, it's nighttime now, but that's just the mood that I am in. So cheers. This is some um, Pinot Grigio, <clears throat> 1981. It was a good year. I was young. All right, let's dive into this stuff. Come on. Okay, so today I have just beauty empties, and then I have some other empties that I'll share with you another time. But let's get into some beauty products that maybe you guys... These are great ideas. I, some of these, a couple of these are great ideas for as gifts, um, you know, with the whole Christmas coming up. And so it's some great gift ideas. Um, I know that a lot of females in my family like some of these things. And um, let's start with the two that are pretty popular in my family, as well as with myself, because I absolutely love these. And these are the, um, the Soap and Glories. Love the Soap and Glories. And you can find these on Amazon. I mean, you can find them in Walgreens. You can find them in Rite Aid. Um, but I finished the, this is the um, the body wash. I have two body washes here. But this is the first one. And it's called the Clean On Me. If you can see. If you guys can see. This is the Clean On Me. This smells so good. So good, people. Oh, my God. And I am just so upset that this finished but this can run you for about in some places around ten dollars um and others um it's cheaper but i think on amazon it's around maybe about 10 to 14 bucks or something like that it may be cheaper now but something like that and then i just tried i've never tried this one before and this is the rich and famous you know i didn't really like that oh I loved this, by the way, loved it, but I didn't really, I wasn't crazy about this. I'm sorry for the distraction back here. Those are my babies. Um, but yeah, so I will never be repurchasing, be repurchasing this one again, because this, I mean, they're, the soap and glories are not really big on lathering anyway, but this one really didn't do anything. It really did not. I'm sorry for the lighting, guys, if you don't see. So I'm going to purchase the the clean and um, clean on me one because I'm definitely out and I have to get another one. All right. Something that I have been talking to you guys and I've been mentioning it and I've hauled it a million times. And this is one of my favorite cleansers. One of my favorite. This is the CeraVe. And this is for the normal to dry skin. I like this one. It's okay. But my favorite one is the blue and white one. And I probably just bought this because I couldn't find the blue and white one because it's not easy to find. And the blue and white one, it has blue on it, has the um, hyaluronic acid. And that's the one that I really like. But this one was okay. It's it's okay. Um, of course, Bath and Body Works. And I have some candles to share with you, but I'll do that in another video. Um, shower gel, rose, love that scent, um, emptied that one out, I have to get me some more perfume, so just be on the lookout for another Bath & Body uh, Works haul, because I just made a purchase for a couple of, I think, Wallflowers, the, the plug-ins, the refills, and also, um, I think a candle or two, something like that, but I have to buy some body fragrances and lotions, and I'll be purchasing some for Christmas and stuff like that, so... You may want to click on so you can get the notifications, the little bell, you know, click on that so you won't miss that because those are great Christmas ideas. And then I also have the Rose Body Spray. It smells divine. And this is one of my favorites. A lot of people don't like, they're not crazy about this scent because it's very sweet. It's on a really sweet side. This is Dark Kiss. It's really sweet. It's like, it smells like marshmallow. But so if you're not crazy about sweet, you know, 
but I love it and I really like this especially when I finish showering because I'm the type of person that after I come out of the shower I lotion up I usually use a body oil in the shower and then I'll put on a lotion and then I'll put on spray yes maybe a little much for some people but it's what I like to do and it makes me feel extra clean all right so I I like that going to bed love it I'll wear it out every now and then too but um, the next item is called Prep Rally, and I this was a detangler. I received this in one of my FabFitFun boxes. Um, not really crazy about the smell because it smells a little chemically, if that's the word. I don't know. Chemically? Okay, I don't know, but you, you understand. Um, not crazy about it. I would never purchase this on my own. It was a nice treat. I mean, I used it up. It was okay. Did it do the job in detangling it? You know, I don't really think it really did much. I usually buy the Johnson's, um, the children's detangler, the green bottle. And I don't have one here. But I, I'm pretty sure that I finished one bottle, so I'll, I'll have to look for that. But that's what I like using on my hair. Um, and that one works for me. This one did nothing. Nothing. And I also received this in my fat in a fat fit fun box. Um, and this was it's like a um I don't know, like a it was like a spray. It's like a cooling mist spray. Um I I Avene, I'm, 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 I don't know, I may be butchering it, but it may be pronounced Avene. Didn't really like it. It was just like water in a can. That's the best way to describe it. Water in a can. Um, and, you know, you can see the nozzle came out like a mist. Um, I don't know. What's the purpose? I have no idea. Refresh yourself. So what I started using and what I will usually do with lotions and sprays that I don't really care for when I'm removing my makeup with a removable makeup wipey, what I do is that I'll spray my face or I'll put the lotion on and then I'll wipe my makeup off with the wipey. That's what I do just to use it up because I'm not crazy about it. And that's what I ended up doing with this product. Okay, the next thing is an, this is an oil control primer mist from e.l.f. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this. I had a problem with this. <laughs> and this is the second bottle that did the same thing. So I will never purchase this ever again. Because what ended up happening was every time you would use like, let's say half of the bottle and you would try to spray it on you know, your face or I use brushes or on your brush. It would, I can't even describe it. <laughs> it would just end up spraying outward. The weirdest thing. I don't, I don't know what they're doing. I don't, I, you can't even open it up, whatever, but no. And it didn't even control the oil. You know, I have very oily skin, some dry patches. I do have, especially during the winter time, but um, this did nothing. Won't ever purchase that again. And I think that I just purchased that because I couldn't find another primer at the moment because, you know, I'm a crazy person. I'll just go shopping. And if I don't find what I like, I'll just grab the second best thing, the second best priced thing. And that obviously was it for that day. And it did nothing. Another thing that I received in a Fat Fit Fun box was the Kate Somerville goat milk. I'm sure you saw, you know, I've shared this, this with you guys when I received my, when I did the unboxing. This, I didn't like it. And I ended up doing the whole makeup removal with this because, first of all, it, is, it smells like nothing. It's goat milk. I don't think it's supposed to smell like anything, but... They put absolutely no fragrance in this, which is okay because it's more on the natural side, but it's too greasy. I'm about moisturizing, but not adding more grease to my face. You know what I'm saying? So I ended up removing my makeup with this. Let's see if you can see that. 
this was a no mm -mm -mm. didn't like it <clears throat> what i do love and actually i'm using it now is the neutrogena hydro boost gel let me tell you this has hyaluronic acid in it and i absolutely love this right now i'm using the um the eye cream from neutrogena the same line I'm using this and I'm also using their face wash. I have to share that with you, um, which I've never used before, but I'll share that with you in another video. I am loving that. This feels very cool. I mean, it can be a hundred degrees wherever you store this. And as soon as you put it on your face, it feels so cool. So it feels like it's actually moisturizing and tightening your face. I love this product. I do. Neutrogena, hello, your girl. Hello. Love it. Um, something that I tried on the whim also was this from City Beauty, the Blue Defense Hydro Gel. I was using that before I used this. And um, this was nice. This is almost the same. It's just about the same thing. It was the same color, like light and blue, um, as the Neutrogena. It had a really nice scent. Um, this is very pricey. This can run you for about 60 bucks. Um, but I was really interested because everyone was raving about it. And um, would I repurchase this? Probably not because it's so pricey. And I didn't really see a big difference. I mean, nothing that this can't do. You know, and this goes for what? Something in the teens, maybe about ten, ten dollars, maybe if that, maybe nine to ten bucks. So I liked it, but no, there's no comparison to the drugstore. Um, now for oh, I have another uh, primer to share. This is the Elf Illumination. I like this. And it does um, give you this shine. It's not a whole lot of shine, but it's it's nice. It gives you a nice, you know, nice glow. But what ends up happening with this, I, I don't know, is the other one? Yeah, the other one is Elf too. Come on, Elf, get it together. Get it together. I don't know what's going on with your pumps, nozzles. I don't know. But towards the end of using this, what happened was the product itself started getting very coming out very pasty i don't know if you can see very pasty through that nozzle and when you go to apply it it wasn't it, it wasn't a like a, a lotion or a cream anymore it was like a glob i don't know and no it wasn't just this one because i purchased another illumination and the same thing happened. So I don't know what is going on with Elf, but you need to get it together with your bottles. And you, I, I don't know. Come on. This is a nice product, but towards the end, it turns into a glob. It's not working. So you, it doesn't even smear. It just, and it, nope. Um, a facial mist that I purchased wet, wet and wild from Wet n Wild on, on another whim of mine. And this was a setting spray. I don't really like it. It doesn't, I don't know. It doesn't do what it says. It's supposed to set your makeup. It doesn't. I mean, it says it did, what? Defi, I don't, I don't know, but I don't like it. It's a photo finish and it did nothing. That's what you need to know, nothing. Um, a, now concealers. I have, I think, like three here. Well, two of the same, actually. And this is the Fit Me. And I was in the color, I can't even see this number. I have no idea. But it's like a medium tan or, you know, like a, it's like a medium tan. But I really like this. I really, really do. You can see that I just killed both of them. Um... I like that for under eyes and for spots and, and lines and stuff like that. This is this is pretty good and it does cover up really well. And this is from Fit Me. I really like that. 
Um, I saw this in the drugstore and I figured I'd give it a try. And this is the CoverGirl um, concealer. And this is in the number 1560, I believe. And this is in, what is that? It's like a tan and natural. Let me show you. And it's, I'm sorry, but these are, they're disgusting because it's whatever. See how gross they are. But, um, I really, really like this. I really do. And, you know, when I purchased it, I was like, it's CoverGirl. Uh, I don't expect it to do anything, but <laughs> hello. And look at the size of this. That's the color that I'm in. It's a really big sponge. And I really like this. And it did cover up. This is a matte mattifying cover up this is great for this and actually i just went into the drugstore not too long ago and i didn't find it in my shade so i purchased something else which is the first time that i'm trying it and i'm i'm liking it so i'll share that in another video with you guys um and i think one more thing here this is the true match and i saw the price tag on it sorry I think I paid like, what is this? Eight bucks or something? Oh, sorry, eleven forty nine. This is a true match powder, setting powder, and this was in the color W6. I'm in warm six. I use warm six in the winter time and then warm seven in the um in the summertime. I have worn warm eight one time, which is darker when I have really tanned when I travel and I tan. Um, yeah, I, I've used that, but this is the one that I, that I usually use in the wintertime, W6, and I, it's gone, so I have to get another one. But I haven't actually been wearing the, um, and it comes with a little sponge, if you can see. I've never used this sponge. No, not really. It's a new sponge. I don't use this because I use my brushes. Um, and it comes with a little mirror, too, as well. Um, I've been using translucent powder which I've been kind of liking lately. Um, and also it helps with the whole masks thing. I mean, you know, you're going to have this all over your masks. That's a whole nother story. I mean, you're going to have all of your makeup on your mask, right? If you wear makeup every day. Um, and the last item, which I have been absolutely loving, and I just purchased another one because this one is done, and it's the Revlon Brow Pencil, and this is in dark brown that's what I use dark brown and what I love and I can't show you with this one but of course it comes with your spoolie and the tip can you see I don't think you can see this but the tip is slanted if you can see that and that makes application so much easier it really does at least for me because I'm not a pro but I have been thinking of microblading, and if I do do that, I'll bring you guys along with me because I'm just tired of filling it in. I'm just being honest. So, you know, I just want to be able to just get up, throw some face powder on, and just keep it moving. But I don't want to scare anyone at work, so I do wear makeup on a daily basis, which is not great, but I do. And I think that that is, I think that's it. So, oh, today I just went, um, took a walk, well, took a drive, actually, and walked at Cold Springs, you know, that town that I love so much that I told you guys about, and I finally found myself a sweatshirt, and this is the first sweatshirt that I have from there, and I am so happy about it because I wish you guys can feel it. It's not... It, this material is not like the regular, like a regular sweatshirt. This is so soft. It feels like cashmere. I am, and it's just a regular gray sweatshirt, but I can't wait to try it on. So I just purchased that. I tried to get one for the hubs, but they didn't have um, the size. So then I also picked up this. I have no idea what this even smells like. Let me take the price off. I paid five. $5.45 for this hand lotion. I needed a hand lotion because I'm still waiting for my B BBW to come in. Um, and I love carrying a hand lotion in my purse. And I currently um, 
finish the one that I had, which was in rows. But, okay, this is very natural. And it just smells like, um, it smells like a, uh, what are those, the, the Naked Bee, the Bee products or something like that? What are, what are they over the counter? You can find them anywhere. It kind of smells like that. It's very, um, can't get this up. It's very natural and very clean smelling, but it smells like honey and maybe some eucalyptus, something like that, a slight hint of menthol or something. It's very nice, and I'm sure it's moisturizing. I would really love to. All right, I think I got it. Fine. Let's see how this feels. Let me show you guys. I don't think I showed you. Um, I've never seen this in the stores, and I think that you can probably only find it over there. But let's see what this smells like. I don't know. Oh. It smells very clean. Oh, that is moisturizing. Yes, it is. Oh, I, I really like this. Yes, especially now that you're always washing your hands. I wash my hands. I, I lost count how many times a day I wash my hands, and they're so dry. I constantly have to apply lotion. Very nice. I like it. I'm very happy. And that's it. So I will see you guys in the next one. And you guys... Stay safe and take care. See you in the next one.